ハローサリューアニョハセオニーハオグーテンタクオラハイトゥエブリワンオールアランドワールドアイムオマツメインプロデューサーオブドラゴンボール Z ドッカンバトル Today I wanted to give you the latest info on the ninth anniversary campaign which is scheduled to start soon I'm also going to introduce something exclusive to the international version so watch until the end This may seem abrupt but in this video In an effort to make the info easier to understand, I have decided to deliver our latest news in English. However, since I might have difficulties speaking English alone in order to get help with English, I am going to invite our Dokkan Battle team member and English speaker Ken. Hi everyone, I'm Ken and I'm a member of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle staff. Today, I will share with you the info on the 9th anniversary together with Omatsu. Thank you for having me. I will continue from here while Omatsu helps me introduce an overview of the in game info. Today's video comes with subtitles in English, French, German, Spanish, traditional Chinese, and Korean, so please switch them on as needed. And now, Let's start off with the info on the events of the 9th anniversary campaign. For this year's campaign, we will implement events based on Dragon Ball Super. First, let's see the story events. The story event frees us endless ambitions. This event will have you look back at the story starting from the birth of Frieza's army, which focuses on Frieza himself. And there is one more story event for this 9th anniversary. Here it is. The story event Super Warrior Memorial Goku and the God of Destruction. In this event, you'll be able to revisit Goku, Beerus, and other characters' feats seen in Dragon Ball Super. What's more, you can recruit Beerus in this event. That's all for the story event info. Both events will revisit the story from a different perspective, so we hope you'll enjoy playing them. There's still more to come. So here's the next event. The limited attempts event, Tough Struggle for Survival, Planet Vampa. From this event, you can obtain movie bosses, category exclusive EX skill orbs. It's a chance to power up your movie bosses category characters. So make sure to play it every day. Moving on, the high difficulty event. First, this. Stages 6 and 7 will be added to Ultimate Red Zone Movie Edition 2, which was released during the Dispair's Onslaught Emperor's Domination campaign. It is a high difficulty event where you will have to fight Beerus in Stage 6 and Golden Frieza in Stage 7. The last event for today is this one Supreme Magnificent Battle. In this high difficulty event, the bosses will be super class characters. Up until now, there have been many ultimate red zones, where the bosses are mainly extreme class characters. This new event is like a super class version of ultimate red zone. Try it out, everyone! Plus, this time, if you clear high difficulty event missions, you can get various unique titles. These missions are quite tough, so do your best to clear them. And on to the next slide. The 77 Special Summon, which we implement every year, will be updated this time. Until this year, the 77 Special Summon has been a special summon that could be performed only by clearing missions and obtaining 50 77 Special Summon tickets. Plus, along with the 77 Special Summon tickets, there were also tons of thanks. Summon tickets. But now we have merged them into a single ticket, which means that their content has been enriched. What we mean by this is if you collect 50 tons of thanks summon tickets, you will be able to perform a multi summon that allows you to recruit 77 characters in one of the Dokkan festivals or one of the legendary summon carnivals available during the celebration period. After the celebration ends, you can still perform a summon with a ton s of thanks summon tickets. But if you collected 50 of them and 
use them to perform a March summons. You will be able to recruit 77 characters. With the last 7 characters, guaranteed to be essential characters. So, aim to collect 50 summon tickets during the celebration period. That's all for in-game info. Now, we'll show you the animations of main characters featured in part 1 of the 9th anniversary campaign. Before the animations, let me show you again the card illustrations that we introduced back in May's producer's letter. Take a look! It's Super Saiyan Broly and his transform form, Super Saiyan Broly Full Power. And Super Saiyan Gogeta and his transformed form, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta. These two characters, who are the strongest of the strong in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, are arriving. Let's see all their animations. First, Super Saiyan Broly and his transformed form, Super Saiyan Broly Full Power. How was it? Broly's imposing animations certainly reproduce his destructive power. Next, Super Saiyan Gogeta and his transformed form, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta. Here it is. Think you can keep up with me?
What do you think? Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta's Super Attack animations are a Dokkan Battle original and we created them so that viewers can sense both Goku and Vegeta's characteristics. A lot of thoughts went into these animations, so make sure you regroup these characters and check them out. Indeed, these animations perfectly display Broly's destructive power as well as Gogeta's sophisticated coolness. They just make you want to get them both. Thank you, Omatsu. That's all for the animations. Now, we'd like to tell you more about the abilities of the characters featured in part one of the 9th anniversary campaign. Let's start with Super Saiyan Broly. Take a look. With this active skill, Broly can create the domain extra dimensional space and transform into the full power state. Here are the abilities of his full power form. These abilities truly show Broly's destructive power. Next is Super Saiyan Gogeta, who faced Broly in a fierce battle in the movie. Check out the abilities. Like Broly, when Gogeta launches his active skill, he can transform into Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta. Let's see his abilities after transformation. This character possesses the new feature Attack Attraction, which directs the enemy's attacks towards the character while granting a 100% chance of evading them. This is sure to be a very powerful skill. Broly is very powerful too, with his flawless attack and defensive skills, so everyone must be looking forward to his arrival as well. This wraps up the abilities. The summon available in this campaign will be the Dokkan Festival and the Legendary Summon Carnival Summons. Super Saiyan Broly will be available in the Dokkan Festival 
while Super Saiyan Gogeta will show up in the Legendary Summon Carnival. They are both quite strong, so you should definitely include them on your team and check their power for yourself. I bet you want to perform these summons right away, but we have another announcement in this regard. The Operation Team has been working hard on the countdown campaign that started in early June. We thank you very much for the positive reception of the countdown pack. We can see that you are looking forward to the arrival of Broly and Gogeta. Thus, in order to give this year's anniversary celebration the best jump start possible, there will be a special summon format for the summons featuring Broly and Gogeta. Here it is! This time, there will be 7 steps in total. First off, you will be able to perform a multi-summon that allows you to recruit 10 characters with the 30, 40, and 50 dragon stones in each step from step 1 to step 3 respectively. And, as usual, you will be able to perform a free multi-summon in step 4. However, this time, there will be more steps. In step 5 and step 6, you can perform a multi-summon that allows you to recruit 10 characters with fewer dragon souls than usual, while one featured SSR character is guaranteed by performing a multi-summon in step 7. Plus, this step-up summon can be performed as many times as you want within the specified period. Grab distance to perform summons while available, and start part 1 of the 9th anniversary campaign with an advantage. That's all for the new info on the 9th anniversary. Now, some updates on the unification of the two versions operation schedules. During the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2024 event held in Los Angeles in January 2024, we announced that the unification will be implemented this summer. Today, we can show you the schedule details. Here it is! Thank you very much for your patience. The worldwide campaign scheduled for late August will open the way to the unification of operation schedule afterwards. As usual, the new characters will appear at the same time in the worldwide campaign. But the timing of their arrival will be the same as in the Japanese version even after it ends. For characters who were released before the unification and are only available in the Japanese version, please understand that to add them to the international version. Further adjustments may need to be made to the international version even after the operation schedule and unified. We'll share further details on the unification of operation schedule during the 9th anniversary campaign. So, please wait for further announcements. That is all for today's in-game information. Actually, before we wrap up, here are some messages we got through social media from everyone the other day. This is the first message. I've been playing since the second year anniversary and Dokkan has basically become a daily routine for me. I love the game so much and I want to thank everyone on the development for making it so much fun. There's a lot to be worked on and I trust the team can get it done and make Dokkan the best version it has ever been. Thank you for your message. I am very happy that this game has been a daily routine and has become a part of your life. We will be adding new events and updates during the 9th anniversary and beyond. So. I hope you keep enjoying this game. That was a very heartwarming message. Moving on to the next message. May 10th, 2018, I played this game for the first time. June 7th, 2024, I have over 100 units rainbowed. Thank you for your message. And also, thank you for playing this game for over six years. We will do our best so that you can continue to enjoy playing this game for many years to come. It's a pleasure to see that players are enjoying this game. Sadly, due to time constraints, 
I cannot introduce all the messages in this video, but we have received over 2,000 of them. Thank you for the many messages. Your message is included, but not limited to this. Our precious feedback that our developers will read and use on difference. Please keep on sending in your thoughts. And here is the last information for today. To celebrate the ninth anniversary, we will be showing a short special video featuring Broly and Gogeta on the screen of Times Square in New York. Please go there and see for yourself. The video is planned to air from July 8th in local time, but more details will be on social media, so make sure to check. We were able to run this video thanks to all of you that play the game. Thank you all for the support and look forward to the upcoming 9th anniversary. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching until the end, until the next video. See you!